everybody, it's Pete Wernick again, Dr. Banjo, right here on my rural rancho. And I have a little job to do for you today, which is to show you uh, how I play the break that I uh, play on Colleen Malone, one of Hot Rise's favorites, and one I get asked about fairly often. So I'm going to show you how it works. Now, first of all, the song as Hot Rise does it is in the key of E. And that's because we have some pretty good high singers like Tim O'Brien in the band. But most people would do it in a lower key. And it'll be easiest if I just show you without a capo how I would play it in the key of D. So there's a D chord. And you notice I've moved my Shub 5th string capo up so that I'm raising the 5th string from its usual G note to an A note. And that's a necessity generally when you play in D. So the, the song goes like this. It's been ten years and three since I first went to sea, since I first saw Ireland and home. And then da 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 and a lot of people are a little hesitant to try to play in the key of D when they're not retuned. But it's not as hard as you might think. The melodies are all to be found someplace there. And if you can get your right finger from your right hand to the melody string, then you'll get that melody. So the first thing I always do working out an arrangement is actually just find the melody. just to show you what goes on with that, I tried a lot of different ways of doing it, and the way I worked out the ways of incorporating the melody is using them sort of in the middle of rolls, like that's a five note sequence starting T-I-M, and it's been, and then thumb on the fifth, ten, it's been ten, do the same kind of thing moving to two other strings for my notes and here you have a two finger position uh, with uh, the middle finger I'm sorry the middle fingers up and the ring fingers playing the fourth fret index on the second again it's a T-I-M T-I sequence and then I kind of go backwards show each and every note that I play because there's a tablature that you can get right off of my website that shows the exact notes, but I'm showing you at least what everything looks like. So, now it's time, since, since I first, that's just the melody, we're on a G chord. And it's starting to rain a little bit, but hey, that's kind of like Ireland. It rains half the time. Now here's now the very hardest thing in the whole break, which is we're going to the E chord, but the melody, darn it, is not even in the E chord. It's usually, if you're playing an E chord, it's one of the notes that you'll be playing just to make the chord with your left hand. But no, the melody is, Since I first left old Ireland and home. And that note is not in the E chord, but if you want to play the melody, you got to play that note. So that's how I got that. I actually leave the first string open. There's no way I can play that easily with that note with, on the pinky. So here's my E chord. I change it to an E seventh. That's a T I M I T roll. T I M I T. And then, again, the melody, and now it's time for the A chord. And I could just play it like that, where I have to kind of move my elbow and squeeze my whole hand up against the second fret, but I have an easier way to do it. I'm going to leave out the second string, because I'm not even going to play the second string. And my right hand roll is T, I, M on strings 4, 3, and 1. And I might just keep rolling forward or something like that, and I get better contact on the strings using my finger picks than if I were to 
have to squeeze it with the side of my index finger. So that segment is... sort of slow to allow you to hear how I practice it. Now this was a hard move for me to do, it was nothing like I'd ever played before, so when I started working on this break I realized I was going to have to smooth out that section, so I just practiced making that first position, which is pretty weird, two fingers on the strings three and four, and then an additional finger on string four with a pinky just going places it normally doesn't go. just like I'm doing now. So you can practice it the same way as I did until it works. And uh, that's how you get something from the discovery stage to the uh, sort of get it formed and then you finally get it to the oh I can do this at comfortable speed stage and it's all a matter of practice. So that gets us halfway through the break, but it's really almost the entire break because the third line of the break is going to be just like the first line, and the last line only has a little bit of a variation that's pretty easy. So I'll play through the first part of the break and go forward all the way to the very end. So. sixth in the A chord, so, sorry, and a little ending lick there at the end. So that's the whole thing, and now I'll try to play it up to speed. Here we go, one, two, three. plays it in some other key like G or C or A or something, you'll have to get some new geography going right there. And speaking of new geography, I think I, right now I could use an umbrella. I think I'll go for some <laughs> shelter right now, but I want to thank Gina Andreucci, my assistant, for being camera woman on this first shoot from the rural rancho of Dr. Banjo. <laughs> 